the Las Vegas Raiders finally got quarterback Derek Carr, a number one receiver. They added Devontae Adams to tight end Darren Waller, slot receiver Hunter Renfro, and running back Josh Jacobs. Right tackle's only question on the offense, and it looks like the new regime wants to coach that position up. On defense, they added star edge rusher Chandler Jones to get after the quarterback with Max Crosby and interior defensive lineman Bilal Nichols. Rocky Austin is a solid man coverage corner to pair with Trayvon Mullen while Nate Hobbs is in the slot. Anthony Everett will be in the mix somewhere too. At linebacker, I love Denzel Perryman, but the Raiders need more at the position. And Kyle Van Noy is still out there. Van Noy is everything defensive coordinator Patrick Graham would want. He's versatile with the ability to play all five linebacker spots, 4-3 or 3-4. He can do anything you would want a linebacker to do on the field. So why did he get cut by his last two teams? Oh, money. He got cut by the Miami Dolphins after the 2020 season just one year into a four-year $51 million deal. And he just got cut by the Patriots for salary cap relief one year after signing a two-year $12 million deal. So all Van Noy has to do now is lower his asking price. That's probably why he's not signed right now. Van Noy is a leader as he was a captain in Miami and he's played for head coach Bill Belichick himself as well as Brian Flores, a Belichick disciple. Graham is also a Belichick disciple so his defense is pretty much the same. Therefore Van Noy can teach it and get everybody lined up. When a new regime is bringing in a new defense, it's good to have some guys that know it. Van Noy is solid at everything you want a linebacker to do and it all starts with stuffing the run. No, I'm not trying to call him Mr. Run Stuffer, or even say he was as good last year against the run as he was in years past, but he is still solid against the run. You're not going to have a bad run defense as a result of having Van Noy on the field, regardless of what position you put him at. He can diagnose the play and attack downhill from inside linebacker, or he can set a hard edge from outside linebacker. Here he quickly diagnoses the play and pulls the trigger to get downhill before the lineman gets to him. Here he is inside again and this time he's going to show the ability to go sideline to sideline. And here he sets a hard edge and strings the play out. Now coverage is something Van Noy is still great at, maybe even special. According to Pro Football Focus, he was the highest graded linebacker in coverage last year. His grade was a phenomenal 87 in zone, a rock solid 72.9 in man, and again, he was the best overall at 84.7. Now it's one thing to stick to your man and another to cover a zone, and it's on another level when you get your hand on the football. Watch here, he bluffs his blitz, and he covers his man for a long time in the scramble drill and still gets his hand on the football. Here he's going to stick to the tight end and push the ball out when it comes without looking back for the ball. Now here he's going to bluff the blitz again and drop into his zone and pick the quarterback's pocket. Whether it be coming from the inside or off the edge, Van Noy is of good use blitzing or rushing the passer. And when he doesn't get all the way to the quarterback as no one does, he's still very disruptive, batting down a lot of passes. Van Noy had six passes batted down at the line of scrimmage in 2021. Now that's a whole lot for someone that was in coverage for almost 100 more snaps than he was rushing the passer. Max Crosby only had three. On this one, he wasn't even rushing, he was honoring the play fate. And that's a well-timed leap. Here he has a little loop around stun off his blitz and he gets his hands up just in time. And here he didn't have much of a rush going, but he timed his leap. Remember, a batted down pass is just as good as a sack for no gain. But that's not all he does. He gets all the way to the quarterback for sacks too. He had five of them to go along with his 29 quarterback pressures and seven quarterback hits in 2021. That's a lot for a guy that doesn't rush the passer full time or even close to full time. 
Again, the man was in coverage for almost 100 more snaps than he was rushing the passer. So that really speaks to his versatility. Here he comes off the left side and watch him let the whole thing develop. And now it's time to go get him. Now he's just coming off the edge and watch the stunt inside. Inside, Vanoy has good instincts so he can diagnose plays and get to the ball before linemen get to him. He can also take on and shed blocks and go sideline to sideline to make a play if he needs to. Outside, he sets a hard edge and doesn't let the ball get outside of him. He also chases plays down from behind when they go to the other side. And wherever you line him up, he can blitz and rush the passer and he can cover. So what do you think? Should the Raiders bring him in for depth or as a starter? Or should they just leave him alone? Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.